Hi, this is Sonia Doucette. In this video, I'll show you how to calculate the standard free energy change, delta G naught, for a redox reaction when you know the standard cell potential, or E naught, for that reaction. This problem tells you that the standard cell potential at 25 degrees Celsius for the reaction where silver, a silver cation and a zinc solid react to give silver solid and a zinc cation is 1.56 volts. What is the standard free energy change, delta G naught, for this reaction? The important relationship to know here is that delta G naught is equal to negative N times F, which is the Faraday constant, times E naught, which is the cell potential potential you were given in this problem. So N is the number of moles of electrons transferred. So in this problem, you have two moles of electrons transferred. And you can convince yourself of that by looking at the balanced half reactions for this overall redox reaction. So N is equal to two moles of electrons for this specific redox reaction. The Faraday constant is equal to 96,500 coulombs per mole of electrons. So that's the amount of charge in coulombs transferred per mole of electrons. So you have all the numbers that you need to solve this problem. And all you need to do is substitute them in. So delta G naught is equal to negative 2 times 96,500 coulombs per mole of electrons. And then you can multiply that by your standard cell potential that you're given, which is 1.56 volts. And you'll notice that the units don't quite work out here. So one other really important conversion to know is that there's one joule in one coulomb volt. So you don't really have to do any additional math there because the actual value is one. But you can see that your units will cancel out now. So the coulombs cancel out, the volts cancel out, and this is actually two moles of electrons. So the moles of electrons cancel out and you're left with units of joules, which you know is the unit for delta G naught. So if you do the math there, you'll be left with negative 301080 joules. And if you want to convert that to kilojoules, all you need to do is divide by 1,000 to get 301 kilojoules. So that's your answer here. All you needed to do was find the standard free energy change, delta G naught, using a known standard cell potential, or an E naught.